Hello everybody, it's Jack playing Bowser's Cataclysmic Trap, possibly the last episode if there's no post-game world. So let's just get right to it, the final level before the castle. And considering the trouble I've had with the previous levels, I'm kind of scared what's going on here. We're starting with a green turtle and a fire bar, that, so that explains a lot for the rest of the level. So I'm a little bit scared. I mean, you know, green turtles, those are, those are the worst thing. Oh no! Ugh. Okay, so... Oops, I loaded my save. <laughs> oh well, no worries. No worries. It's a good thing we didn't go anywhere. Yep. Got hit by that green turtle. <laughs> See, that that's what happens, though. That's what happens when, when I, I rant on the green turtle. I knew they'd be hard, and I just proved my own point. Can I make this jump? Absolutely, I can make this jump. With a dragon coin over here. This music is not loud at all right now. And my... My... Uh, pause the video game button isn't working, so... Hey, look at that. It did work for some reason. Okay, well, odd things in ZSNES. I need—I really need to stop using ZSNES. Like, no kidding. I need to get to SNES 9X or something. I've heard it's a better emulator. So that's—I don't know why I thought that was a good idea. I need to—I need to just change my—I need to change my outlook on life because right now, I and mean, I've been working with ZSNES since I started playing these games. You know, and I think it's about time I changed it up a bit because you know I'm, I'm hearing a lot more bad things. Oh my gosh, I'm hearing a lot of bad things that can go along with ZSNES, but it all depends because it seems like a lot of games. <clears throat> I mean, they, they say that, pe that people can get vir can put viruses on your computer if you use ZSNES on their on, on hacks and stuff like that. But they say it's safe from SMW Central, but I don't know, man. Ultimately, I think it just might go to SNES 9X because not to mention that game I don't think has as bad with has as bad with slowdown as this one can sometimes. Though, granted, I haven't dealt with that much slowdown, but you know it is what it is. So this is a level, there's lava everywhere, and we're kind of, and it's a cave with lots of bones everywhere. And these guys, can I kill these guys? Nope, they are black munchers that are ultimately unkillable. Unless, of course, I have a shell. And that's that's what I shall be using. I shall be using a shell to destroy the world and everything inside. And I shall be keeping this because, you know, this thing. And it jumped past, it jumped past me. So what are they, oh wait, those are Hammer Brothers, aren't they? That would explain a lot. That would explain why they would jump and the way they lob the fireballs. They're just, they're just fire Fire Brothers. <laughs> it could be just Fire Brothers, I don't know. But Hammer Bros. Hammer Bros that grow in the ground. Makes makes a lot of logic. I don't know about you guys. But yeah, these things this would just be the world of the annoying plants. Guys, stop being... Okay. Okay, I didn't see the... I didn't see the block. <laughs> it, it hid the block. I, I thought I was safe. But, you know, a, a leap of faith just... It just didn't do it for me. So, these guys are a little different because I have nothing to protect myself until that fire goes away. Thank you, fire, for going away. I very much appreciate it. And I was right at the end of the level. That's, that's, that's just what happens. Like, I'll die right at the end because I, I make a leap of faith or I panic for some reason. It's always one of those two. It's always panic or a leap of faith. That time it happened to be the latter. Oh, Bowser's front door. Dun dun dun. Potentially the final level in the game. Huzzah! Let's go right to it. I'm a little, I'm a little scared to be honest with you. I don't, I don't know what to expect. I can expect the level might be a little lengthy, but there's, there's a door here. I'm gonna science this up. Where's this door go? It's uh, leads here. Well, okay, I'll, I'll do that some other time. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna continue on. Oh, so it's just, it's just like Bowser's Castle essentially, where you have a set of doors. Well, in that case, why don't we just go to the first one? Oh, this is a different remix of this. It's a pretty neat remix. But yeah, let's go to this one first, see what's see what's gonna happen. We have fireballs, because you know, fireballs. This seems to be the fire path. You know, that's nothing that's something to be expected. More ceiling lava and ceiling potabos, which those are probably the, the worst of all the potabos of the ceiling potabos. As well as, you know, the sea the, the statues of fire, the worst statues, you know, because they fire and fire bar the the worst of the bars because, you know, fire. But, you know. Okay. <laughs> So that's what that looked like. There's a door at the end. Let's go ahead into the second one and see what happens. Let's see where this second one takes us, because I can I can do such things. And there's a power up here. Oh, nope, nope. There's power up. Is there a power up over here? Am I, am I mistaken, or is there no power up? Power up maybe. Haha. <laughs> the power up hidden at the end of the room. That's kind of rude. But I, d I definitely like this remix. It sounds kind of neat. All right. Where does this guy go? What hidden gems await me here? Oh no, the plant room. The, the muncher plant room that's <laughs> made a horrible mistake oh man dealing with the muncher plants and every oh my gosh and this guy moves 
good thing these guys avoid jumping out while I'm here. There's a little bit of slowdown. It's just a little scary in here. And this leads me here, which is probably the second half, and there's a door there. Um, of course, we're just going to the first one, makes it easy. <laughs> just, just to see. Okay, spikes. Spikes and bones! Oh no. Layer 2 spikes that are probably just going to get faster as I go on. That's a little scary. Well, alright. Um, I've never done I've never done good with Smashy Smashers, as you guys remember probably from two days ago. <laughs> I just royally messed up everything in that level. Okay, falling spikes that are the same color as everything. Also a little scary, but that's okay because you know I think we're I think we're doing okay. We are we're we're surviving. We're we're making our way through the sink of the world. Oh wow, scary. <laughs> and oh, is this is that a reset door by any chance? It looked like it. Well, in that case, uh, door number two. What's behind door number two? More layer two, except it's got ceiling potabos. The problem is you have to time everything right now. I am not safe right here, am I? Okay, I am safe. Don't worry, guys. I'm safe. I'm safe. Okay, and I don't know where I can stand here. But the problem is, is I have to go quick, because otherwise you'd be crushed, or you'd be destroyed in the face of everything you can possibly imagine. You'd be, you'd be destroyed from your own nightmares, which is essentially the, the fire death on the ceiling. And that potabo is just, it's just a piece of all your nightmares. That was once again another reset door. So I'm assuming in that case, we have to go to door number three. Door number three with a power up potentially. Yes. Hello, power up. Thank you, power up. What's behind door number three? What's the theme here? Layer two lava. So a lot of this likes to involve layer two, layer two lava and plants, which that's not something I enjoy, but that's okay. Are we safe standing here? Just barely. The problem is, once again, you have to time everything because they're, those guys are just kind of hanging out. Um, I'm assuming I'm safe right here because nothing can touch me. Yes, I'm safe right here. This world is definitely... This world is definitely a world. <laughs> no doubt about that. I was a little too quick. Oh no! Okay, so try, let's try that again. Let's try that again and not, not uh, get myself murdered. That'd be that'd be bad news. Well, I got myself murdered anyway, but that's okay because I think I. Ah, uh, 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 uh. oh, I was I was safe there for a second in the second section because we're just trying to explore the entire world, see what magical wonders could possibly await us. But the problem is that they seem to be they seem to be not necessarily magical wonders except for terrifying nightmares. This is the world of bullets because bullets and grinders, bullets and grinders. Uh, don't we just all love bullets and grinders? Bullets and grinders are the best things ever. But they got, uh, you know, ground grinders and uh, homing bullets. Just, just a little, just a little scary. But it's, it's okay. Nothing we can't handle, right, guys? Uh, firepower, absolutely not an issue. Can this? Oh wait, this is different. This is. Oh no, wait. In that case, so that was a reset door. Uh, in which case, um. I guess I'll just go back to door number two, because that's the one we completed last time. I just went through door number three again, because I'm a moron. Get their power up and go back through door number two. So, reset doors in a Bowser castle, that seems logical to me. I don't know about you guys, but, you know, reset doors. Being ugh, good timing, Potobo, I appreciate that. So now I'm going into this with one hit. Do my own thing, don't you agree? I am safe nowhere right now. I am safe absolutely nowhere right now. Ah! Okay, so I'm safe. I'm safe here. I'm safe here, guys. Don't worry. Oh no, door! Okay. <laughs> that was that was a little scary. I kind of had to time everything. What the heck? Wasn't I just here? Or is this different? <gasps> no. going a little faster than their counterparts in Mr. the Previous Room. So keep that in mind, Jack. Be cautious as possible. B 
be as cautious as you can ever be because, you know, you, you don't want to be crushed when you've made it this far. At least I don't think you'd ever want to be. That fire guy is just a little in the way, but it's okay. It's not an it's that's a non-issue. I say if I go, no, I'm not even gonna risk that. <laughs> like, can I maybe get inside this little crevasse? I don't know. Man, is there gonna be something gonna destroy my face? Nope, I'm okay. I was gonna say, is there gonna be a, a little a spike hidden there somewhere by any chance? Knowing this game, it would have made a lot of sense. It's a good thing there wasn't because I would have I would have cried all year long. Am I safe right here? Even I don't really know. Just barely. So you really have to pay attention. As do a lot of these levels explain, paying, paying attention is probably a good thing. I'm glad I didn't just run. I'm glad I took those coins as being, Hello, there's a spike gonna come to crush your face! I'm glad I took it as a warning. Otherwise, if I took it as just an offering, that would have uh, caused issues later in life. Alright, so where does this lead me now? Still no midpoint, but we got fire scrolling with donut blocks and maybe a smashing block. Nope, just a thwomp. He's technically a smashing block, but not as much as every other smashing block the world likes to throw at me. Man, okay, see, I don't I don't like this. Especially since there's like no midpoint. <laughs> Trying to be as cautious as humanly possible right now. This is monumentally scary. There's just a lot just a lot to pay attention to. At least at least the world looks nice. At least it looks nice. And at least the potobos are welcoming. Because you know, otherwise, just it wouldn't be it wouldn't be worth it. None of nothing we've ever done would have been worth it if it weren't for our welcoming welcoming friends, the Thwomps, the Thwomps and the Potabos. I almost entirely forgot the Potabos were here. That'd be unfortunate. See, the problem with scrolling is I keep wanting to go ahead, but that's a bad idea. I'm gonna try to stay on the back of the screen so I can watch out for Mr. the Fire statue and Mr. the Thwomp Thwomp that probably just wants to surprise me and murder me. <gasps> There's no midpoints here. It's just a boss door. Okay, is this gonna be regular Bowser? No. Oh gosh! What do I do? What do I do? I probably can't jump on his head. Oh gosh. Okay, so what's... What, what am I doing? I'm confused. Help! Okay, help, help. Help me. I don't know what to do. Okay, this is not right. I don't even know what I'm doing right now because I can't get past him. I can't get past him. What do I do? What do I do? There's like no warning. And now I have to do all that again. Man! That's well. Well. That's not nice. Wait, you know what I'm gonna. You know what I'm gonna do? Kill myself. I'm gonna go into the back door. What does the back door have to say? I'm just gonna save right here then. Because I'm kind of curious to see what the back door has to say. But the problem is, if I beat the back door, does it count as does it count as me beating Bowser's castle? I don't know. I'm just kind of curious to see what's in here. Does it take me to the very end, hopefully, or does it take me to somewhere entirely? Di no, it does. It's just about near the end. Well, I guess that I guess that's what I'll be doing from now on, as I'll just be going into the back door because I'm sure as hell not going to do all that again. Because, you know, we've we've dealt with Bowser numerous... How did that even happen? Honest here. This is still a lot. <laughs> Wait, what? Am I crazy or did I miss this somewhere? Did I just not see it? Or did I actually get a midpoint and not even, not even really pay attention to it? Well, I'm monumentally confused right now. Okay. Well, now I know there's a midpoint. At least here there is, unless there was another one at the main castle, and for some reason I was too caught up in whatever the heck I was doing at the time to see it. I'm a little confused now. This is about, this is about right, but the problem is I only have one power up this time. How do I freaking do this? I can't. Wait, I can jump over him. The problem is, the turtles were not there last time. What the? What the hell? Okay, well, turtles that weren't there last time. Come on, man. This would have been a heck of a lot easier if I known that's what I had to do. Is turtles? But the turtles didn't show. Okay, he's been knocked 
I don't know. Okay, he's, he's still here. He's still here, man. He's still here. And I got by the explosion. All right, fine. But now I know that's how you do that. But there were no turtles last time. I don't know what to do. I did a real good job there. So, turtles. You... Turtles are spawned from your face. I know this now. I know that this is a thing that happens now, so avoid explosions. Explosions are no good. Explosions are only there to destroy you in every possible way. See, that's the... I just saw the turtle for a second. But then it despawned. I saw it. What's... Okay, so is there like a glitch in this thing? Because the turtle shows up and then it's gone. Okay, this is really stupid now. It's not even showing up anymore! Turtle! What the... Okay, I don't know. I disagree with the logic being presented here. Seriously now? Yeah, that's... That's just dumb. I'm sorry, but that's just dumb. <sighs> Jump, will ya, Mario? Please. Otherwise... Why won't they spawn?! Okay, oh my god. Yeah, they just won't even goddamn spawn. <laughs> Why? Okay, is this boss just really buggy, or what the hell's going on? They j <sighs> Screensaver just murdered me. point. Completed! Hooray! I, I don't know! Press B! Game credits! Gamma 5! You're, you're awesome, girl. You're awesome. Very good, very good game. That boss. It was so... It seemed so on and off, unless I was doing something... Very wrong, and I don't know what that could have been. Oh, man. But anyway, that w it was still fun. I mean, it, it, was, it, was a, it was a super fun game, I have to say. I mean, at this point, it's looking like there's no... Um, there's no post-game. Well, I don't know. Because I, I guess I, I shouldn't do my end credits quite yet, unless I... Unless I'm completely sure of that, but... but yeah. That boss, man. I'm, I'm glad... I'm glad she inputted the back door, because if... <laughs> Special thanks to God and SMB Central. And Pat 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 and Immamalia. Oh boy, I'm glad that had back door was inputted. I would have been a very unhappy man if I had to do all that again. It looks, well, it's looking like, um... It's looking like the game's over. But it said 81. Aren't there 82 exits? If it does say I should, if I, if, well... No, that would be dumb. Alright, well, let's just, you know, let's just, let, 
let us remember. Let's let us remember the past. Just take a leisurely stroll through everything we've accomplished. We, we beat Cloudland. We beat Ice Town. We beat the Rocky Rock Canyon. We completed the Jungle Town. We completed Cave Town. It seems so long ago. Beachland. Even longer ago. And then good old World One. <sighs> Pretty yeah, this is this is it, guys. That was it. Bowser's Cataclysmic Trap! Let's play completed! Hooray! Well, I guess I should do my final credits. Gamma, Gamma very great game. I enjoyed the hell out of it. It was super, super fun. Um, it was a great game. I mean, great game to to play to get back to my me being on the internet. It was a, it was a good game to do. Well, this is the end of our first, the first Let's Play me coming back. All that's left to do here is now Super Armin World, which this is what I'm going to do. The episode that, that would have gone up this afternoon is now going to go up tomorrow morning. I'm going to get back to the morning schedule. So expect that, and we'll be doing that. So watch Super Armin World. Thank you guys for watching this Let's Play. I'll see you all next time when we do. Well, we finish off Super Armin World, so, so watch it. Bye, guys.